Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Civilization VI as we continue our Alexander III run here. Uh, trying to be a bit more methodical, maybe less aggressive, Alexander. Is that what I should call it? Have I picked a name for this yet? I actually don't know by this point. Um, less aggressive Alexander would be kind of funny uh, compared to some of the other things. So, um, it's a new, new session for me, if you can't tell. I'm wearing a different shirt. Uh, so I'm trying to remember exactly where we left off. I know we're building a settler. We do want to get at least a sixth city set up. That is that is definitely the goal. Um, I know we have a couple spots available around us. Not a ton. We've got a spot over here that, as I'm digging in, or kind of looking at it a little bit more, I don't know that we gain anything from right here, quite frankly, because we can get the wine and we can get the marble from Pella. Uh, honestly, up here isn't terrible. If I can see what else is over here, I wouldn't mind seeing what else is going on over there. Um, over here, we're about to see from with our scout, it's showing up pretty strong. That could be an option. And then we have a few possibilities down here. Uh, these are maybe more, I don't want to say strategic, but just, honestly, it's really only only the oil, the iron, I, mean, I should say, down here at the moment. So not really anything too amazing. Um, the amber over here wouldn't be bad just because, you know, it's another luxury, I suppose. But then we lose the iron. I mean, a city down here is just not good at all so i'm kind of hoping that that doesn't end up being the place we go to I, and that's not the plan at the moment uh i think right now i'm going to actually take over the scout for just a smidge see what else is over here i mean this looks really good some deer down there some i mean there's some good spots right here some more floodplains it's a little bit out of the way from where we're at with everything else but we got a lot of desert in the middle that's starting to look pretty good i also wouldn't mind getting um, just maybe this warrior taking a peek up here real quick. Uh, we'll go up this way. I don't know if it really matters which way we go. Kind of trying to take a little bit of a peek. Uh, militarily, militarily, I feel okay against everybody except, um, the Kree here. And we're making him mad right now. So we need to kind of be a bit careful with that. Other than that, uh, yeah, I think we're just going to keep going here. You want to give me open borders or three gold per turn. Oh, you want to get my, my iron, though. I don't think I want you to give you iron. Although I'm not super scared about you, and we're not using the iron right this second. Uh, would you add on the honey? I'll do it for the honey. I could have taken off the open borders. I don't really care, to be honest. I'll say this. I think we'll be able to follow through on that. Same with you. Depending on where some of these other cities land in relation to your borders, but there's a chance we could follow through on those. Um, speaking of open borders, we don't normally do this, but I mean, getting a little bit of money for our open borders, not the worst idea in the world. Might send a delegation to you, actually. Use a little bit of the money we just got. Okay, you've already got open borders with me. Uh, and we'll send a delegation to you. I don't think we send them delegations to you guys yet. Oh, I need 25 gold anyway. I'm surprised we don't have any gold. Um, Okay, that's that. I mean, the best Lakoi would be science. Science, gold, military units. So it would cover the science and the military units, of course. Um, not so much the gold, but that's okay. Military units is, or science is really, really important for us. Plus it would give us some error score. Um, we're already locked into a normal. We could push up to a golden age, potentially. Um, I mean, we do need enough military to cover our backsides, but I'd like to get this up first so that we can start getting the science from it. I mean, these are some, look at all that rice. There's a lot of food here. This city would grow pretty big. So if it ever ran into any loyalty, well, I don't think it would ever run into any loyalty issues, I guess is what would be the answer to that. Portugal. I don't know if I've 
played against Portugal. I don't think I. I don't think I've ever seen Portugal in a game that I've played against. Huh. That's funny. All right. Fair enough. More power to you, Portugal. We don't have any money to send to you for a delegation. We got to get our economy up. Wasn't that number two? We're not quite. Oh, he took that spot. Okay. Fair enough. I mean, then that proves that it was a good spot. We are going to hook this up, which will get us the boost for ironworking, which is perfect timing. Sometimes the wheel turns slow. Okay, fair enough. Um, warrior, for now, just swing back to here, I guess. I'm going to probably send the settler to the east over here. A little ways to travel. We're going to need an escort for sure. Horses, too. And Amber. Oh, wow. This is... There might be a couple good spots over here. Goodness. This is looking pretty nice. Uh, I mean... I don't know if I really want to just keep pounding away at this guy because it just feels like a waste of the archer, but I guess we'll do something. I wanted to move him over here, but I'm a little worried about... I guess these galleys can't hurt me. I might continue start moving him over here. Yeah, the galleys can't hurt me. It's the... Uh, the um, what are they called? Suddenly I forgot their name. <laughs> I don't know why. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, I think I was going to put the diamond right here, right? So a farm here would be okay. Unless there's something else I'd rather hook up. Uh, the jade over here would be presumably better. I mean, there might be space for two cities over here, actually. I kind of feel like there definitely are. I could put a city like down here or on the rise or somewhere around in this area. And then put a city over here on the coast. Again, a little further away from my land than I would prefer, but not, not terrible. Gotta keep an eye on military up here. I mean, you're still not super scary. It's just, it's really Kree. Kree is the only one that's really scary right now. And he's probably the one I'm making the maddest because of all the stuff I'm doing over here. I have to get a couple points of population here. Oh, how are we looking on loyalty over here? I haven't checked this in a while. Oh, we're, we're gaining. We're good. Cool. Okay. We're, we're in a good spot there. I mean, we have to be careful. Obviously, that could that could change very, very quickly. But as the population goes up, the Lord we'll be better. Of iron. Then he turns up the heat to forge some of us into steel. I mean, not, not a terrible thing to build in one of our cities. Like we got some desert mines right there. That would help cover a lot of these cities with some extra faith. Extra faith, I mean, you can do something with that. I mean, it's not, it's not worthless, even if you don't go with religion, right? So. So science first. None of this stuff really helps with science right now. I mean, getting up to apprenticeship doesn't, I mean, it doesn't help science, but it helps with just overall infrastructure. Um, I don't even know if we're going to build a quarry, to be honest. I feel like knocking a little bit off engineering might be useful. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's definitely two more spots for cities over here that are a bit blocked off, potentially, from these guys up here to the north. So we might be able to swing over there and grab those spots pretty easily. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and send you a delegation. That's going to use up a lot of our money. I think in the long run, it could be beneficial to us. I don't even remember what you have. What is Portugal's deal? International trade routes must originate from a coastal city and can only reach cities on the coast or with a harbor. Or receive plus 50% towards all your That's insane. Trader units have a plus 50% range. That's also really good. And can embark as soon as they are unlocked. That's, that's really cool. And they got the now. I, I vaguely remember the now. Replaces Caravel, one free promotion and is less maintenance, has two charges to build Victorias, which are these little buildings that go on the coast, I guess. Yeah, I, I'm starting to, I mean, I remember bits and pieces, but I, I don't remember much, to be honest. I don't know how. Navigation school. Maybe it'll be fun to play at some point. 
All right. Um, okay, I was going to move you over. This is just a galley. I just want to get rid of this encampment. I'm just going to keep spinning out ships anyway, and that's going to be potentially problematic for us. Okay. I just realized the audio is a little bit high, potentially. Um, let me change it in here. Because I've got some settings set for some other games that I was tweaking around. So I apologize if it's been too loud this whole time, but... In fact, I might even get demonetized because this the music. Actually, I should lower the music big time. I'll do something like that. Okay, hopefully that's okay. Hopefully I don't get demonetized for this one, but I do, I do. It is what it is. All right, return to the game. Um, as soon as this guy spits out the Basil Koi, we want to get a another military unit for sure. Yeah, he's got really strong early game units too. Could be very problematic. Uh, the damage here, not great. It does increase a few things. We're definitely going to want to get a dam pretty quickly. Our Ma Magnus has been established. All right, you can go back to auto explore at this point. Hello, Taruga. Taruga. Plus 5% percent science in all cities for each different improved, improved strategic resource they have. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. You want a general, you want an engineer, you want a writer, and you want a Greek for masonry. Don't we all? All right. Hello, friends. Still just a galley, so we'll just... I mean, if he wants to attack me, it's not going to hurt too badly. Since I've got him pretty weak. All right, about to get a little bit, a few error points here. Still got time to get up there. All right, so he's friendly with us. I don't even know where he's at, so we might just be friends with him straight up, because why not? I genuinely have no idea where he's at. Is he way up here? Oh, yeah, no, we're, we can be friends with you, buddy. my friend. My friend, let's let's be buddies, because uh, you are not going to be a target for us anytime soon. Even, even uh, Congo... Might be all right to be friends for right now. At least one cycle. I mean, he is a good early target because his, his military is not as strong, but I don't know if I'm... Am I going to war early? I mean, if I can get enough cities on my own, if I can get these two cities over here, that's a pretty good foundation to, to work off of. Um, so I don't know if I need to go with the other stuff. Um, hmm... I mean, I'd like to do this one. For sure. It's going to time out wrong with the, the settler, though. Still probably the right move. It's a good, amount of, good amount of production, so it's going to be good science. So there's that. But our economy is not great, so we've got to be a bit careful here and not go too crazy on the military just yet until we get our economy established. We're getting the commercial hub coming in, but, you know, it's taking a little bit of time. I'm having to remember that this is standard game speed, so we are, um, it's taking a little bit longer to build stuff than, than it did in the last, last couple of tries at this, but that's good, because that's, that's what I'm used to. we got a decent amount of iron. I mean, trading iron to people that we don't care to have iron while we have it. I mean, you've got a bunch of iron, but you might get, you might give me some money for it. If I give you 20, I don't want to give you a ton, but I mean, honestly, anything. We're going to continue to build it. We're, we're going to continue to have more. I mean, it's not going to hurt that badly. Honestly, with you having iron, if I'm going to be friends with you, we might. It's a good chance that we would... Um. What am I trying to say? That actually might be worth it. It's a good chance that we will um, not go to war with you until we're past iron stuff anyway. So giving you some iron might not matter. 
I don't want to give iron to anybody that could declare war on me. You, for example. I really don't, although five go per turn. But then you can just gonna declare war on me, and I don't like that. I'm gonna say refuse. I'm apologizing for that. You gotta be careful. I mean, he's, he's gonna be really high up there on science, isn't he? Uh, I mean, he's up there, but you know, we'll see. Um, I mean, science first. I think. I mean, we we like to wish what you said, right? Science economy and go from there. So we're gonna go with Taruga first. That extra science. It's not a ton, but it's about another ten percent of science. So we'll go with that. Uh, somebody already beat Jebel Barkal, which is fine. Oh, there's a military outpost over there, so we're going to have to be careful. I pass this, we'll be able to help with that pretty easily, though. Actually, for that matter, the warrior will. I'll probably move the Hypaspis up to here, because he's tougher, and shift the warrior down. In fact, I should do that now. I should have done it already, because it's going to take him a turn to get over here. All right, we'll change the policies here in just a second. I am going to go ahead and move you down... To help intercept with that settler. Um, mysticism would give us another point for an envoy, which is which is pretty nice. Two turns for an envoy. You know what? Why not? I mean, I think that's worth it. Uh, an envoy can give us extra whatever. Whatever we end up getting with it. Uh, there is a quadrant. That's what I was thinking of. Quadrant. I was like... It's like, I know it, I know what it's called, but I just can't remember it. I mean, that guy could come do us some damage, but I'd like to deal with that thing, hopefully, before he can kill us, but we'll find out. Um, oh, he's, he's losing some power. I mean, look at all these units over here. I almost feel like we have to sacrifice the archer because we've got to clear this out or it's just going to keep pumping stuff out. I don't like it. Uh, we're going to lose that archer, but I just don't want him to keep pumping ships out. That's just going to be very problematic in the long run. Oh, we got three different special districts, or we got the boost some other way. We will work on mathematics. Obviously, mathematics leads up kind of the center chain to other science and gold, so that's still going to be good for us. Um, you already have an archer half or partly produced. You also have an encampment partly produced. We will do the encampment first because we want to do that before we build the uh, military units. I mean, you're going to be close to being capped on housing. In fact, you will be capped on housing in three turns, so there is that. The encampment, though, we can work on things that give us housing as well, though. Let's start with the encampment. You just need to do the market. I mean, that's just the way it is. All right, you need to start working your way on this direction. Hopefully you can catch up without him getting captured first. Well, Hungary. Okay. All right. All right. All right. We've seen you before. Nothing new there. Um, send a delegation to you while we still can. We are one point away from a golden age. Oh, we'll get that with a pacifist. It'll be a little overkill, but it's all right. It's going to be okay. Mysticism is the mistake of an accidental and individual symbol for a universal one. I forgot to change policies from the last one. Um, I would like to do another settler for sure, because there's at least one more city spot over there. Not sure if that's the right move right this second. Because we're not going to be doing a settler right this second. We're going to move off of that for a little bit. I don't think we need the loyalty anymore from that one city. I mean, I don't know if we're going to go crazy hard on the military units right this second. Maybe we will. And this is basically science, right? We produce the units faster. We therefore get... The science quicker, right? Just a great scientist. I mean, like I said, science first. Put a few points in that. Why not? Sorry, Archer. You're going to die. I tried to... Well, I didn't really try that hard, but I just, again, I felt like I really need to clear this thing out. It's just producing 
unit after unit. I guess I'll go down fighting. Go down swinging. Or firing. As it were. Um... I'll just stop you. Honestly, I guess it doesn't matter. We'll just hook you up together. I mean, stopping where I was was there's no benefit to that. I'll work on recorded history first, but we'll, we'll hopefully stop off of that. We're gonna we're gonna hopefully get another campus here soon. Ish, soon ish. Um, we do have an envoy. Good. I can get up to three on that one. But that doesn't really help us that much. I mean, any one of these are pretty nice because if they give us extra um, production with uh, in the capital in every city with the barracks or stables when producing units, that's always nice. Either one of these more important than the other. We don't need the... I don't think we need that. I mean, it does get rid of the fact that we need battery rams to be fair but don't know that we need that over anything else I mean this gives us more for producing buildings wonders buildings and districts we're not doing right now we're doing more units right this second I'll go with Granada I mean I, I think I don't think it's a wrong answer here so let's pick one go with that it's a little bit more production. Hello, Poland. We've almost met, met everybody already. Sorry, Archer. I mean, it's a bit frustrating and annoying, but what are you going to do? Um, You're going to move up to the city to help kind of cover us a little bit. It's going to make us look pretty weak for a, a whole turn, but that will give us a little bit of extra strength there. Uh, mathematics did get a little bit of boost. I should have swapped off that before. Oh, no. We want to finish that all the way. Never mind. We're good there. We is good. Um, we don't need housing. Uh, Oracle. That's, I'm, I mean, it's not crazy, crazy. So I think I'm okay without that. Honestly, we just need a couple more units. It's going to hurt the gold, but it's going to help the science, right? So, units at this point. I don't have any bonus farms right now. A little bit of food and production. And that will help us grow quicker. <laughs> also, the culture. I, didn't, I left culture off my list, didn't I? We may just get our economy good enough that we can just buy these at some point because I just feel like we've got to work on the the military units at this at this stage of the game. I mean, do I get another hypaspist? I'm gonna I'm gonna want a couple of these, but it does cost me more gold each time. I like a couple more archers just to kind of help help out with some things, especially after we just lost one somehow. All right. I don't know if I want to settle you on the maze. Maze, maze. I guess it is. Um, maybe I do. This other tiles are ridiculously good. So maybe that is worth it. Although I think I'd rather settle you a little bit closer to the horses and the deer. I'd like settle you down here on the tundra, uh, which makes that those tiles turns them into something at least halfway decent. Honestly, right here is is okay. Right next to the river, within range to drop out a harbor. And still have room to put a city over here somewhere, maybe to you know take advantage of some other stuff. One, two, three, four. Yeah, in fact, right there. We can. Um, I'm gonna look for tax. Yeah, I was like, I was trying to think and talk at the same time, and I was like, I lost my train of thought. Uh, we'll say city one, and then probably here, right? I mean, this is not the most amazing city, but I think it will be good enough. It's going to have some good campus spots, really good campus spots, and that might be all that it needs to be good at. I mean, we're leaving a bit of open space over here. One, two, three, four. In fact, we could still put another city up here somewhere, right? We actually have room for three cities over here. We could put a city on the rice. Right? Am I, am I, am I making that up? Uh, 
uh, whatever. That's fine. I don't know why it changed the thing behind me while I'm trying to do this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And these are obviously not four within four. I think... Which one first? I think this one has the best growth. Right? I think. It's close, but I think this one will have the best growth. Which means it could potentially grow high enough to build out a settler, uh, another settler quicker to fill out these other two. Don't think there's a lot of competition for this. There might be. But if we get these two cities down here and then somebody puts one there, then we can probably flip it through loyalty. I think we go... Oh, how are you? Oh, you're too close to Anta, Nana, 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 Revo. Um, that means I could put one down here. I could settle on the maze and then put one down here. So still... Still an option. We'll make this city three instead. We'll make this. That, that's why. I, I knew there was a reason. I mean, I hadn't thought about it because I was sitting there staring at the map, not the seller thing. But it makes sense to why that didn't pop up right away. Uh, I think it's okay to settle on the maze. It's the only way we can get a city down here. So, And is a city down here worth it? I mean, it's going to have the amber. It's going to have the horses. It's going to have the deer. It's going to have some food that I can switch over to it if it has trouble. Um, cause this one's going to have plenty of food. It can move out to the cat. I mean, I think it's going to be fine. Let's go settle over there. It's a long ways away, but I think we'll be all right. A little worried about Cree, especially with his catapult coming potentially in my direction. I'm going to feel a little bit better about the fact that we're getting archers out. We got our hypaspis out. I mean, he's, he's strong, but we're not a, t a huge distance away in, in, in the grand scheme of things. We're having some housing issues. Um, we do need to start doing some probably gold trade routes at this point. Uh, science and gold. So let's see here. Let's start with science. And Bomba sounds good to me. Although I would like to get a tr road through here just to connect these a bit. But this flatlands can be mostly okay. Yeah, we'll go here. It's a little bit more science, get a little bit of culture, get some production, all the, th all the good things. All right. Uh, catapult is marking me a bit nervous. All right, let's get rid of the quadrium, hopefully. Let me start working on it. Archer's done. Um... I mean, the most advanced unit that we have is this one. It's also the one that costs the most, so therefore it'll also be the one that gives us the most science. Anything else we want to do right now? I mean, we could do campus for science, but as long as we have the economy for now, I feel like getting at least another one of those out was probably a good idea. It's going to give us a bit more science. We'll be building a city on the coast soon enough. Oh, let's keep working our way up. Tech trees. We, we got enough with the Golden Age, right? Yes, we did. Four turns. Settling over here might make Cree mad because it might still technically be within range of him. I can't remember exactly what it is. I want to say it's like nine tiles of his capital or maybe it's like nine tiles of his borders. I don't remember which. All right, we do need to get the Vassal Koi first, and then we can get the Archer. So kind of get a little bit of a boost. You need to need the Granary, though, because otherwise you're just going to be stagnant. We also need to start getting some Builders out. Builders helps us grow. Builders gives us science. Another thing. All right, we're going to go ahead and put a cut in there. When we come back, we'll be able to settle another city. If we can get all three of these cities down, I feel very comfortable about not going early Conquest like we might normally be pushed to. Uh, the early conquest, um, it, it benefits us by also slowing down other people. But if we can just benefit ourselves just straight up, it's at least half as good, right? I mean, and, and maybe potentially even better because we get to pick where the cities go. Maybe we can, you know, kind of go from there and we don't risk losing any issues or wasting time with, with wars that maybe we have troubles with. Um, and then just tech up and just out-tech these guys and then just storm over the entire continent, right? A little bit different. 
But I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye.